Hey Michael with X-Force PC, you want to talk about installing planes. And so at the beginning of this video I want to talk about the purchasing of planes and choosing planes. And then towards the end we'll talk about how to actually install planes. Now um, it may be tempting to go and download free planes from the xplane.org forum or other places, but in general, there are exceptions, but in general a free plane is a crap plane and it's not going to work all that well and it's not going to be the artwork's not going to be great the the dynamics aren't going to be good the instrumentation's not going to be good so proceed with caution um, also when buying planes uh, it's it's actually a good thing if the plane costs a fair amount of money and you might be thinking well that sounds crazy that's counterintuitive but not really the more the plane costs the better the plane is going to be if you buy a plane for five dollars or download a free one expect to get what you pay for if you spend fifteen dollars it's probably going to be an okay plane if you spend twenty to thirty dollars it's probably going to be a, a really nice plane and if you spend more than thirty dollars it's probably going to be a really terrific plane so keep in mind that you while you, nobody likes to spend money you do get what you pay for when it comes to planes. Um, the other thing you want to look for is compatibility. Make sure it's compatible with X-Plane 11. There are still planes out there that are very good, but that have not been updated to work um, correctly with version 11. They may still work, but there may be some quirks and some things that don't quite work right about them. So let's take a look next at uh, some places to buy planes and some things to look for. Okay, so let's talk about purchasing planes. Now there's a number of places to purchase planes and probably the most common two are X Aviation, which we see here, and xplane.org. Um, I've done more work with xplane.org, so I'm going to sort of focus on that, but I did want to point out that X Aviation is also uh, a resource. So if you go over to xplane.org, when you first go to their site, they sort their store is sort of a separate part from their main website. Um, here you can go to forums, and as I mentioned earlier, almost every plane you find for free in the forums is going to be crap. Um, also, when you download a plane from the forums, look at the date it was last updated. Had a customer the other day who wanted to know why a plane wouldn't work. Well, his plane that he downloaded was created in 2010. And that may not seem that long ago, but hey, it's 2018. That's eight years ago. What were we on, X-Plane 8 back then? So um, do keep in mind the date of the plane, if it's, it's if you must download a free plane. Now, I recommend paying for planes because then you know you're probably going to get something good. So I'm going to head over to the org store, which is this link in the upper left corner, and they have their stuff sort of broken down in different categories here. What I usually wind up is, on is under general aviation. So I'm going to go to Piper and actually yeah, I'm going to go there. And I'm going to go to this Saratoga. I actually own this plane. And so a couple things to look for when you're buying a plane. First of all, we see the price is $26.95. Now, if we look at the prices of the planes here, they range anywhere from about $15 up to about $30. You want to stay typically above the $20 line because anything below $20 is probably not very good. Um, I'm going to look at the Saratoga here. Another thing you want to look for is under requirements. You want to make sure it supports X-Plane 11. If you don't buy a plane that says X-Plane 11 support, it may not work at all, or most likely if it supports X-Plane 10, it will most likely work, but you'll have some, maybe a few oddities to it. Um, for instance, the thumbnail in the flight menu won't generate properly. Um, so look for that. That's pretty important. You know, if you have to have a particular plane and it only is supported in X-Plane 10, it's probably okay to buy it and use it in version 11, but, you know, try to shy away from that if you can. But, you know, if you need a plane, you need a plane. Um, the other thing you want to look at is, you know, I like to look at the pictures and look at the actual inside of the cockpit. 
Um, so you could scroll through the pictures, and then that allows you to see what's included here. We've got a Garmin 430. We got we have steam gauges, and the artwork is pretty decent. Now this plane is made by Coronado, and they do, and hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, but they do a very nice job on planes. Any plane that they do that's supported on version 11 is going to be a solid plane. I haven't found one that is not. And they do update their planes as well. The other thing you can do is look through the list here and see what's included. Be, be sure that, you know, if you need a plane that has a let's say a 530 in it and this plane only has a 430 you need to be aware of that before you buy it you may not want to buy it at all or you may want to try to find another plane that has a, um, a, a 530 in it okay so let's look at one more plane I'm gonna go under general aviation and then Cessna and then over here on the right I have the Cessna 195 it's $12.95 so there's your red flag I'm gonna click on it and um, I'm gonna go over to requirements this will be the first thing you do every time and you'll see it has not been updated to work with version 11 of X-Plane so this thing should work but it may not work 100 percent Co uh, correctly if you're using it in version 11. Um, the flight model will most likely be okay but you will probably not get a thumbnail for it and there may be some other idiosyncrasies along with it. Um, so this is a you know a $12.95 plane um, you can see can't really see much from the cockpit. Um, let's look at one more and let's look at this Piper, now I tell you what, I'm going to go to Cessna again, and there was one in here, this one for $14.95, the Cessna 104 Titan, so red flag, $14.95. Now this one has been updated to work with version 11 of X-Plane, but let's take a look at why would this thing be only $14.95. The outside looks pretty good. Um, but let's look at, if I can get it to it, the inside. Now notice here that everything looks a bit, in my opinion, cartoonish. Um, it's not really photorealistic. Um, it looks like we're look, watching something that would be flown in a Looney Tunes cartoon. Um, you can see the yoke, the artwork there is just not, you know, where it needs to be. Um, so this is what you get with a 1495 plane. Now hopefully the flight model is good on this thing and if you need to fly this plane um, you know it does support X-Plane 11 but just don't expect it to be as pretty as one that cost $25, $30, etc. Um, so next let's go over and look over at my account. This is where you would go if you needed to download a plane again. So you should be presented with a download link when you buy a plane, but if for some reason you're uh, not presented with a download link, you can come here and download your uh, planes by, again by clicking on the link. Now I've downloaded a couple of planes, uh, special especially this uh, Saratoga, Piper Saratoga. And so I'm going to use 7-zip to extract it. What you almost always get is a zip file here. And if you can't see the .zip, uh, I like to see my file extensions. So you can go to View, Options, and then go over to the View tab, and click on this radio button that says Show Hidden Files and Folders and Drives. I like to turn that one on, but that's not required. To show the extensions, uncheck the thing that says hide extensions for known file types. Be careful in here, you don't want to mess with anything, you don't know you kind of what it does. But the main one would be this hide extensions for known file types. Notice when I turn that on, the .zip goes away. And when I turn it back off, the zip comes back. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to choose 7-zip, and I'm going to choose extract here normally but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say extract to an, this actual and have it create a folder for me and there's a reason I'm doing that because I want to show you one of the pitfalls 
So the directions will say just go drag and drop this folder into your aircraft folder. But the way I extracted it created another folder inside of here and then there's the plane information, the ACF file. So you want to look for that ACF file and then just go back up one level and then that's what you want to copy and you want to paste into your uh, X-Plane folder. I have my X-Plane on the C drive. I actually have multiple copies here. And you're just going to go to the X-Plane folder and you're going to go to Aircraft and then you're just going to paste. And that will paste the aircraft in and then when you start up X-Plane you will see that aircraft. That's how most planes are installed in X-Plane 11. So we'll go into X-Plane next and just make sure it's still there. Okay, so now we're inside of X-Plane. I'm just running X-Plane in a window. Um, you'll see we have the Piper Saratoga here, and one thing you'll notice is there's no thumbnail for it. So that's unusual for a plane that's been updated to work with X-Plane 11. Normally you would get a thumbnail. Planes that have not been updated for version 11, is this is what you would see is this question mark thing with you know for the thumbnail. So I don't know if I have an old version of this plane or not, um, but that's sort of atypical when you buy one that's updated for version 11 you should see a thumbnail like you see for these other ones one more thing I'll point out this little checkbox show extra aircraft from old versions there is a folder in the aircraft folder called extra aircraft and essentially if you put something in that folder you have to check this box to see those planes and those are old planes uh, typically from version 10 of X-Plane that they carried over and but they kind of put them in a separate place so that you would know that they were older planes. So um, I'm gonna start a new flight here and I think I have my sound muted but you should still be able to get an idea of what this plane looks like and um, so this, if you recall, we looked at the plane that was like $15 and the interior looked a little cartoonish as I called it. And what we should see here is something a little bit nicer. Uh, so you see, you know, it's not like gorgeous, but you see that everything's not one solid color. Like these, these levers have highlights on them. So does the yoke have highlights. You can see the glass here and the instrument has some reflectivity and glare on it. Um, of course we have a Garmin here that works. So just a little bit of extra stuff you get with a, a little bit nicer plane. We also, uh, this is a Coronado plane, you get these little extra things over here. They're nothing to write home about, but uh, like you can turn off the instrument reflections and you can open up various doors and you can change your views and um, like you can zoom in on the throttle if you click on that. You know, it's not a big deal, but it's just a nice little kind of extra. So there you go. That's how you install a plane in X-Plane and also how you sort of shop for planes for X-Plane. Hopefully that was helpful.